the squirrel. Don't do that though. Don't need your phone and burn yourself, brother. Hi, Beckham! Hi! Thank you. Come on, let's go. I got your peanut butter and jelly. You want to eat peanut butter and jelly? We're going to go to the park today. Let's do the slides. Let's do it, man. We'll do the slides. Say hi, Mommy. Mommy doing your laundry. Go do your room. Remember, clean up first. Then TV. How's your PB&J, sir? Let's go check before you start shooting up here. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All done. Good job. How is it, dude? Delicious. Hey, 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 my man. You can come out here. Come on. Come on, did you take any more bites? You wanna see brother when he gets off the bus? You can get brother off? Yeah, he's trying to do his finger here too. Okay. Wanna help open? Open these, back up, open packages. Oh look, there's brother. You wanna go say hi to brother? Let's go say hi to brother. Let's go get brother. Let's go get him. Don't go all the way on though. Just wait right there. Wait for bro, bro. Come on. Right here, come down here and wait. Say, come on, brother. He probably had better luck getting him off the bus than we would. <laughs> you got to stay here. Back up. No, no, you can't go down there. Let's go. You're too much, kid. Come on. Wait right here like a good boy. Wait right here. I know you want to see brother and all, but you got to wait, okay? Hey, you can watch your video later, too. Hey, look, there he is. Go get him. Get him. Come on, let's go. Come on, Bertie, you got it. Come on. We got a lot to do today. And then you're not going on the bus, mister. Thank you, guys. Bye. You too. And we're going inside. Come on. Come on, we're going in this way. And then we'll go to the park, okay? I'm going to take you to the park today, okay? You're going to hurt yourself. This weighs over 100 pounds, buddy. Let's go inside. We're going to go to the park. We got to go get, we got to get ready for the park. Oh, Becca, your behavior is a tough one. Buddy, I'm telling you straight, you're gonna knock all this over. What are you What are you trying to accomplish? It weighs 150 plus pounds. You're just not gonna listen to me until you get hurt, are you? Unbelievable, let's just stop. Inside, let's go. In the house, guys. All right, my finger hurts, I gotta cut this off. Okay, I'm gonna stop this and just get him in. Step one, finish our lunch. Then step two, you can do things and you're not going in the pantry already, oh man. Then we'll go to the park. I have to cut. My bandage off and do my finger. You have to wait five minutes, okay? Thank you, yes. Get brother's tablet and enjoy yourself, please. Yeah, I gotta soak this. this is looking rough, man. It hurts like hell today. Eat and do tablet right there. This will solve everything as dad's trying to do this. What do you need? Slide. Slide, yeah, but we gotta do, dad's gotta do this first, okay? And then we'll do the slide, I promise. Step one is eat and step one, dad soak his finger. Then we'll go do the slide, I know, I'm sorry. Gotta do some other things first. Uh, he's really trying to go to the park, but I just looked at his eye. Let, go your, let me see your eye. Come here, look, look, look at me. Oh, buddy, I know. You keep saying slide. Hold on. Here, look, some candy. Look, fish. Get your fish out. I know, bud. I'm sorry. I'm trying, bud. I got to finish this. I'm drying it out here early to get him over there. This poor kid, he keeps rubbing his eyes. Yeah, so he just, it's, it hurts him. I got a contact solution. I'm going to try to squirt in his eyes. It has a little bit of peroxide cleaner in it, so it should help. I'm going to do that. As we're all done here, sir, we can start going to the slide. We gotta get brother though, okay? <laughs> well, that didn't take long. I said, can you get brother? Brother's gotta get his shoes on. Can we get brother's shoes on first? I need help, brother's shoes. See, look, he needs his shoes. Come on, let's go inside real quick, put shoes on. I need your help. All right, this is no, uh-uh. This running out of the house thing, that's something your brother does. I can't have you doing that too. Get back in the house, we're not ready. All right, you need a jacket, sweatshirt. I swear, man, sit down until I'm ready. I'm getting a drink of tea. 
Sit down. You can wait a minute. Go sit down now. Go sit down while I'm doing this. Back to where you were. Stay in our seat. Jesus. Stay until I'm done. You can wait one minute or I will not give you the slide or the swings. Okay. I believe we have everything. Daddy has his backpack. That was a whole thing. Okay, now we can go to the park. Let's go to the park for the slide and the swings. Let's go. We'll hold hands. Hold brother's hand. Back on Brody. Can you hold each other's hands? There you go. Grab brother by the hand. Let's go. Brody's trying to run before you even got across that little street. I was like, oh, you got to wait till the cars come. I love walking through here. Reminds me of when I was a kid. We go to the woods. You know what I mean? To get to your little secret destination through the, through the paths. Come on, Beth. You got to walk. He's just not doing too well with that eye. It's just getting him off balance. There goes Brody boy. Right to that favorite swing of his. It's stinking adorable. Okay, you go to your slide. He's got his favorite swing. So tagging it up is Brody swing. Let me see your hand. Bud head kids. I was a kid once too, I get it. Bring glass, I'm gonna start bringing like a dust pan with me to sweep some of this crap. Oh man. No, it's glass. It's not nice stuff to touch. When I was a kid, I got sliced up pretty bad. I know he's gonna mess with it. I'm gonna to pick some pieces out. Yeah, like shards of this. I'm working on cleaning all that up. He got into the candy stash. You okay, my man? I know that eye, brother. Put the hood on. Go, back and go. Go, back and go. Good job. Whoa. And that's why I need to make sure there's no glass. There's no other slides all over here. That hand right there. All right, now I was going to put this in my backpack, but I can hide this somewhere. The kid's just going to dump it back out somehow. You know that's what he's going to do. How you doing, Brody boy? Brody having fun. That's all those kids needs is a swing, man. Make sure for in his mom's yard or where we're at. We gotta make sure there's a swing. Like somewhere just like this, you can get them real cheap. Hang it from a tree. That baby swing won't do anymore. Oh yeah. Good job, Brody. Alright, diabetic candy monster. Let's chill out here. I'm gonna start putting some of these away. I gotta hang these from a high tree somewhere or something, man. I'm just gonna keep eating them. Yeah, put your chalk in there. You can draw. All right, Brody, I think we got the setup right. I think, I hope. If not, it falls over. It falls over. We'll do another one. I can see your brother. You're facing the good way now. Let's put my glasses over here. In my pocket, I guess. I don't want the brothers to, them, to destroy them. And if we're not recording, who cares? We get to do this. We can do it again. I just want to make a nice video with us. 20 minutes because it seems to work to calm you down brother i don't want to do one just by yourself because i'm better at the swings than you are i gave you the higher one my feet are gonna drag ready Whoosh. oh daddy's uh tummy's a little full of milk and pb and j oh. hopefully the lens is getting me i don't know if it is though i'm gonna do one more check real quick buddy I think it is. Let's just get this over a little bit more. Because it's very hard to see with the glare. Pretty sure we're good, right? Kind of close here. Gotta do this one keeping an eye on the Baxter, though, too. Gotta watch out for that kid. He'll be running away. He's chilling though. He's good. He's injured with his eye right now with the allergies. I don't think he's gonna go anywhere. All right, I'm back. Whoa. Let's hope it works. Oh, we'll check it out. We synchronized, Brody. Look, whoa, we are the synchronized swingers. Uh, whoa. Banging your head, bro, bro. Just gonna play this. Hopefully, this will calm you. No! Or the holding video. We like that one too. Swings make my make me nauseous. Let's get some more milk in my stomach. No! Oh. Yeah. Wee! 
Hey, Brody, touch my hand. Give me your hand. Beckham, you want to do the swings? Do the slide, Beckham. He's just uh, building blocks on the bench right now. He's doing his strategic thing there where he has to coordinate it. If you see me run off, that means he ran away and I had to chase him down. Well, swings are agreeing with that. He's a. He's got a nice vomit video, Jack. Brody! Brody! Uh, did I say 20 minutes? There's no way I'm going to do this for 20 minutes. Dad's got to do it on an empty stomach, man. Or something better. Not milk. Dad drank a lot of milk just now. <laughs> That's no good. I'm trying to get synchronized with you again, so I'm not going to swing my legs. I feel bad these two kids where I just picked up all the glass. These two young girls just broke through it with their bikes and cruisers. And I kind of thought them one just said, Do I have a flat? It looks terrible. <laughs> I didn't see it right when it pulled about to ride through there. Well, I was a kid once. I used to do the crap too, but who knows? Adults probably did it. Even as adults, I still did that nonsense. You know, people do dumb things. Without considering others at, this, at that time, we all do it. You know, my kid's got a slit, slit his hand, their tires pop. Who else knows what happened with all that glass there? It sucks when people do that. But it's fine. What are you going to do? Is that a bird? Like an unborn bird? Brody, give me your hand, Brody. Help me. Help me, Brody. Ah! I'm afraid for my finger though, you're gonna bang it. Was I on the other side last time? I don't remember. Yeah, I think I was on that side last time. Yeah. Hey. You were on this side. Mm, we'll do the turns, watch. Mm. Watch Daddy do spins. Oh, oh. Well, that's talking about more. Watch that. Oh. Mm. Oh. Get that height, Brody. Get that height. Whoa, go, Brody, go. No, too high. Okay. That's right, Beckham's the one that's fearless. Beckham will go all the way up until he flies off the thing. Ready? Go! 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 Ready? Set. Go! Ready to go! Oh, yay, 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 yay. Swings? Swings? Oh, daddy's gotta go potty. No, no, this is making my stomach really gotta go potty. Oh boy. This thing's like a bathroom out here. A bathroom. We don't have no bathrooms out here. Oh no, Brody, what are we gonna do? Maybe daddy will bring a big giant diaper. Go. Nice out today. There's no way I was gonna stay inside after school with you guys. Uh, uh, after being inside for what, two days in a row, I think we were inside because of the damn weather. We weren't here since what, Friday? Or we were Saturday? I don't know. I don't know, man. All the days flow into each other, huh? It's gonna be a lot different, buddy. Your routines are all gonna change. And I will have no problem making you two easily adapt to that. Hope that you guys can easily adapt to it. Over here. God, that hurt. That's what I get for trying to put his foot over his head like that. Back it right into the metal. God, that hurt. Aye.
Man, should we sing songs already? What were we singing last Sunday? It was a Christmas in April. We're swinging on the swings, Brody and his dad, keeping our eye on Beckham, making sure that he only goes down the slide and builds with his blocks. Because as soon as you turn your back, he's running down the street. He hasn't done it yet today. So today is a good day. I can't think. Brody, let's sing a song, Brody. Two ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B. Back up, look up with. So happy he's not running away right now. Whoosh! Okay, one more big swing for that. Oh, Brody, go, Brody, go! Brody, go! Let's go, Brody! Definitely probably going out of the frame. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah! Oh, shit, I'm going to bag it in the damn pole. Don't say that word, bad words. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good hugs. Good job. Can I push you once? I promise, light pushes. Ready? Oi. Oi. Do that win? That's why Daddy wanted you to have the windbreaker on. Fine for Daddy, but I know you do. You're gonna have sniffles, and I need you to be at school. No sniffles. Now your brother's eye, you must be staying up. Who knows what that's for? I think it's. Ah! They won't let him stay at school with that. Oh, good job, Brody. Look, and there's a pretend man here. Look, I'm pushing the ghost. Watch. Beckham, you wanna do swings? Beckham. Beckham, swing. Beckham won't do it. He just wants to do the slides. Looks like Brody doesn't want to do the slides. Look, Daddy pushed the invisible man. Yay, invisible man! Whoa, the invisible man! He's invisible, we can't see him. Look, he's on there, invisible man! Ready? Get on! You gotta jump up, jump! Ready? Remember what we do in the house? Whoa, Brody! Yay! Good job! Just too high for you, huh? Yeah, I won't do the high, high one like I do with brother. I do it with you too, though, didn't I? Nah, it's for your brother. Mm. Yeah, some of these I can't twist them back around and even them out. They're all messed up, bro. I did it right next to him. <laughs> Somebody came here and fixed these. Uh. Oh, wow. One point. Ooh. Hi. Mm. Hello. Mr. Swingman. Brody on the swing. Wee. Mm. I want to do something fun, but I'm afraid I'm going to hurt myself. You got to remember, I'm 41, not a baby. I'm a big boy, look at me. Yeah. Daddy, he's going to break his ankles, and the next thing that daddy's out of commission for another couple more. <laughs> ah. Ah. Good stretching. Oh. Daddy's doing the things where he flips. He's doing flips, front flips, and back flips, all these things. Or one time someone was twisting me all the way around this damn thing. I get killed in this Oh yeah, good job, Brody. We're gonna stop this one, okay? Beckham, you wanna do swing? Beckham, come swing with brother. Come here. Beckham, come here, please. Beck. Beckham, you wanna do the swings? Or do you wanna do slide? He's not feeling good today, that's all. How you doing, Brody? Did we get our 20 minutes in? 12 minutes or something here. It's good, at least 10 minutes. Good job, buddy. Yeah, good job, happy boy. I like when you kick off the pole. Good job. You want some water? I'm gonna go over there with brother now, okay? 
Good job, buddy. Let me see like one little piece of glass over here. Good job, Beckham. I like your new shoes too. They're nice. Yeah, they're nice. Mommy got you those on. They nice, man. Hopefully I can make a slide video with him for 10 minutes, but he seems like he's still out of it. But he did come up here on his own. Go, Beckham, go! Go, Beckham, go! Whee! Yeah, good job. Again, slide! He's like, my lollipop stick. Slide, slide! See, now he's just like one and done. He's chilling. All good. I'm gonna just grab this. I guess that's the bottle, whatever they were drinking there. It's glass at the top, I didn't even realize that. Yay, Beckham! Good job! Go, Beckham, go! Again, again! Leave all the trash alone, buddy. We don't need trash. Are you cleaning it up? He's messing with that thing. I gotta get rid of it. Beckham, I said no. It has glass on it. Kid, you're not listening to me. Okay, let go. All done. All done. This is glass all in here, okay? So I'm just gonna put it right here next to the cup of glass. Go, Beckham, go. Go, Beckham, go. Boom, boom, shh. Boom, boom, shh. Should have brought my drone out here today. I can throw the drone up, but literally don't have to do anything. I can set it to just keep going around and doing patterns on them, I'm watching them. It'd be fun. Good job, Beckham. This is yes. My little architect. Beckham the builder. You let me know when you want to do the slide. I want to go down on the slide with you. Okay. Good job, my man. He was doing this dirt thing. And uh, he takes things away. There's a piece of glass here. He just threw it away. Good. Good job, buddy. I'll get rid of it for you. Oh, that's going right in my face. Ooh. dirt man it's time for dirt to get our hands dirty huh watch it don't go in your eyes sir Go Beckham, go! Go Beckham, go! Go! What he said, go! <laughs> you wanna go on there with Daddy? Let's see if I can get this set up like I did with Brody here. Right through, it's getting a little windy out here today. Go Beckham, go! Good job! <laughs> You okay? Would you hurt your hand? You gotta watch. I know it burns sometimes. Okay, okay. Come on, let's go up the slide. Let's go. Are you wiping it on me, huh? Okay. Let's go up the slide together. So this doesn't blow it on. This one's blowing, brother. Oh, I wish I would have brought my tripod today. Crap, well, kids distracting me. They're yeah, getting a little hectic. Go, Beckham, go. Shouldn't stay. One gust of wind is going to fall it over here. Go, Beckham, go. I'm going to come join you. Go, Beckham, go. Yeah, it's kind of close. He's going to get out of here. Yeah, let's go. Let's go on the side. Let's go. Come on, let's go. No, this one. This one, Beckham.
set. <laughs> That's not how we did it. We gotta figure out how we did it. Come on, let's go. Run. You gotta watch the sides. Come on, let's go. Come on. I know. Here, let me see. Let me see. You're okay. Can I kiss Boo-Boo? Come on. Come on. You gotta watch your hands with the sides. Come on, go. Let's go, Zach. Go. My jeans are slowing me down, my belt. I'm good. Man, I just lay here. Go ahead, just see if you can catch me. I don't think you're going to. I'm not standing on here again, like we did before. Here, turn aside, go. Daddy will lay right here, right here, and then you try to get me. <laughs> go, go to the side, go. Let's see if he does it. I can tell what he's doing. Go, back, go. One more, at least. <laughs> Go, Beckham, go. Go. Slide, Beckham. Ready, set, go. Go ahead, go. I'll move my head, I promise. What? <laughs> you just missed my head. <laughs> Let's never do that again. Here, come here. Let's end this part right here. <sighs> You're doing good. Good job with the slide. You're so brave being up there so high. Just don't play at the top of it like that. These are leaning like this. Oh, oh no. Yeah. yeah. But even the plastic, the sides of the plastic parts, they're like, the kids can fall. I mean, and those ones were out there was like the mulch and stuff. This is soft. Yeah, but he falls, he falls. He might break an arm. Don't do it though, please. 
One more, Daddy. Got one more in there. One more. Let's do one more. One more for the road, brother. Can I get on here with you? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Legs up. Ready? Your brother doing. He's chilling. Ready? Set. Oh. Ah. Yeah. You gotta stop grabbing that metal. Whoosh. Good job. That's where you get hurt when you keep grabbing that metal. This right here, bud, look. When you're sliding, it keeps going like this. You know, of course there's gonna be sharp pieces. Don't, don't grab the edges when you slide, okay? That's how you get hurt. I did it with my ankle, it hurts, the other day. Uh, what you need, you wanna rummage through the bag, huh? Okay, let's find that right there. My lollipop? Here, lollipop. My lollipop? No. Fishies, what do you want then, fishies? Or candy How about we do fishies? Turtles. Fishies. Let's do fishies. Or <laughs> goldfishies, okay? Or turtles. Turtles or fishies. Remember, we can have the drink over here, yeah. but we can't go over there with it. Uh-uh, sit right here on my lap, sir. I know you're thirsty, but we're gonna, not gonna spit water all over the, the mud over there and make a mud pit. How you doing, you having fun? You're not doing it. I already did this once with you. Uh-uh, you're not doing it. I said no. <laughs> I said no. <laughs> you can't, because we know what you're gonna do. You're gonna dump it in here like you always do and make mud. No. Stay over there, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is our this is our home base over here buddy okay if you want to eat or drink you can't go over there and eat and drink in the mud okay it's not happening here you want some fishies or some crackers excuse me big turtles no uh -uh. what do you need uh -uh. sir you want to do some tapping with some trash okay go ahead we do the beats So we're back at it again with the drummer boy, Brody boy. <clears throat> Join the band, the Brody band, the Brody bench band. Chalk in your eye. Oh, oh boy, he's in for a real rude awakening with that stuff. Yeah, it's in your eye now. Uh, buddy. Come, here, come sit over here with brother and I. Come here. Come here. Back up. Come here. You want some of these? Come here. Come sit. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Come right here with us. Come here. Come sit with us. Come build over here or sit, whatever. I didn't talk yesterday, bro. Come here. Here, you want your building here? Hopefully it's in there, I don't know if it is. Go so said I want to try to make more standard shots. Not a bunch of this is yes, no, mumbo jumbo. Uh, there you go. I know you're in there now. 
There we go. It's that glare. Good job, boys. Two videos <coughs> that I recorded on the iPad of him and his brother or whatever. He has no watch. <coughs> I don't have as much data on my phone. I'm going to use it at the bar. Remember, you can take videos with that thing, buddy. Just like your, your phones and all that stuff. You can move. You don't have to stay. If the sun's bothering, you can move. Right, you want to go fly? Just wanted like a shot of you guys together. sun out of your eyes. You understand the sun? Look, now it's blocking the sun. If you wear it correctly like this. Hydrate. Get some hydrate. You do it with your hands. Hydration, kids. I use mine, but mine's over there. Oh, they're all down. All right. Ugh. Oh, and now it's recording. I don't know if it recorded any of that. It's basically recording. I was just sitting on the bench, just tapping if it didn't record it. I don't know. I can't see the glare out here. It's vicious, man. Now, of course, he's got your cup and you got his. Are you going to join Brothers Band? I don't think he wants you near him right now. He just wants his space. I know you were hogging him. Want to play music? Back on, play music. The drums. Play the drums. Make a drum up. You can find anything and bang on it. You know what I mean? Bang on the bench. Yeah, giving him a kiss and love. I know. I love that. But just don't use brother's head as a drum, okay? You know he uses ours as drums sometimes. And that's not a lie. We all see him do it as he plays my head as a drum at his brother's. You had to sit on his lap too, huh? He's kicking you right in your, your tush. Yeah, you can sit across from each other. Let's do that. I think that's nice. That's how easy they are. They just want to hang outside. That's all they really want to do. Uh, you know, they don't want to be cooped up. Like, what kid wants to be inside when it's nice out? There's no kids, man. No, they do not at all. They need to be outside. Just make sure if you're building, you stay over here away from the glass, okay? Because there's still shredded glass. Look at the hawk. Oh, a hawk. He's right up above you, buddy. Did I get him? Where'd he go? There he is. See the hawk, the bird? Did you see the bird? You're going to break that one, aren't you? Yep, ba-boom. <laughs> ba-boom. But yeah, as long as you stay there, this is yes. This is no. This is no. He drug his hand right across that. I was like, yes. Hey, I'm going to do you. I want to take a walk. I want to take them all through here because you see people walking their dogs. They all, it's all a nice little area to walk. There's water back there. So I got to explore it myself first one day before I bring them. Because I know there's a, like a little body of water. It's probably dirt gross. And you know they're going to run. Brody will definitely run right up in there. Oh, there's a little water right there.
So dad just walking around this in a circle, basically a square, because that's what it is. And just getting exercise while they're being really good. They're not going anywhere. They just want to be outside, just like the backyard. Try to get that pool cleaned out this week. I'm going to work on it because I, I, I want to get that done for them. So we don't have to always go right here. Now, back home. Now, now. I found a big piece that I missed. Okay, now. This is now. This is now. Yeah, you're going to get a finger cut. This is now. This is dangerous. I just had to sprint. No, I'm telling. Here, give. No, stop. This is now. Have a seat. Go over there and play. Thank you. All right, there goes my exercise. He's going to keep doing that now and find all the little pieces. Unfortunately, start another cup. Oh, we don't want to leave this here. The lifestyle. Go, Beckham, go. Go, Beckham, go. Ready, set, go. Good job. Let's get this away from him. We don't want that. We'll put this in his bag. Get some more slide shots of you, bro, bro. Good job. This is yes. Being a good boy. Look at our shadows. Look how big our shadows are. Beckham shadow. Ready to choose. Gotta put this in the bag. Ready. Set. Good, 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 go. Good job. Again, again. Wear yourself out. Next time daddy's gotta try and get a shot of us sitting on together with the camera facing our faces. I just I haven't uh, done that yet. Good job, bag. I'm ready. Set, go. Boom. Again, again. Get a good night's sleep tonight. Let me go do that with him. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to let's go. Let's go. We can do a lot of cool things. We can mount us at his pole aiming down at us. Oh, we got to do some cool stuff with this. I got to start bringing gear with me. Ready, set. Ready, set. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. This is yes. He's on a roll now. <laughs> hey, you go between my legs. Go ahead. You go on your own. I'm going to get a shot of you going this way. Ready, set, go. Go on your own. Go. Daddy's holding on for dear life because I'm very tall and I can fall over this easily. Go ahead. Go, Beckham. Go. Now you go by yourself. Go. Yay. Good job. It's like a drone shot. Keep going. Go again. Again what a drone will basically look like higher though uh oh he's getting wild i'm gonna get down a little if you're gonna go this way that means i can go back down a little be careful jesus priest careful turning around all right gonna go down ready ready go go you go no you go you go by yourself i'm gonna take video look i'm doing video you go by yourself go ready no, you go. You go, you go, you go. And then I'll do one with you. Okay, I promise. Go. Ready, set. I'm going to give you a push. Ready, set, go. Wee. I know he wants me to go, but I, I don't want to go too many times. Because I want to get video of you. I like this angle up here. I want to get more upper shots, okay? I like this up here. I feel like I'm on the drone here. This thing is like, I don't like this. I'm too tall to be up here standing. Ready, set, go! Go, Beckham, go. go! Look up here. Hi, Beckham, say cheese! Upside down! Go, Beckham, go! Fast, go super fast, go! Woo! Yeah, Beckham, good job! I love how you climb right back up easily, too, with those new shoes. I bet they got good grip. Just be careful we don't need your fronts. You're knocking out your frontals. Brody's just doing his drumming thing. Careful. Good job. Just be very careful. Always hold on. Because my, my man, even though you're fearless, I know you know the risk of falling. These little areas in between here, you're going to tumble. We got to make sure you go. You want me to go with you again? Okay, hold on. Do it this way. Ready, set. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I see this video being a hit with the kids today. <laughs> Beckham, you ready to go back to the house? Mm. Say, no, thank you. Are you ready to go back to the house, Brody? Mm. Let's 
It's going for 630, man. That's littering. This is now. I now present to you Beckham going down the slide for your entertainment values today. Good job, Beckham. Down the slide. This is yes. You know my man's thirsty when he's drinking my green tea. He's going for all the cups. We're going to have to probably go anyway. It looks like uh, I see some dark clouds over here. So I think we should start moving. Well, there's no report of rain. But I just look at the weather. This Friday, it's supposed to get up to 85 degrees. And, like hot sun. He, like, I definitely want to try to clean that pool. They might even be able to go in the pool. I mean, I've had him in the pool as early as April. I'm not even kidding. Or May 1st. So you never know, man. We're only, if I had time, it's only like eight days away. I mean, all the crazy weather and everything's changing over, over time or climate and all that. Who knows, man? I had that pool open one year. It, it, October 15th, it was almost 90 degrees, dude. So I remember these dates because of vlogging and I was amazed. I was like, I'm in the pool on October 15th. I'm in the pool late April or May 1st. So May 1st is kind of common for people that open up the pools. And if you get another year out of it and mom can use it there, I can use it when I come there to take care of whatever we're going to do. Whatever the plan will be. But regardless, we're going to have to use mom's house. We're going to be using the pool. They need to do a water sensory play. Uh, I'm going to do that this week. Uh, it's mostly just empty. If you get, they get another year, I'll be amazed. That thing, five years, man, that was, I got that for $100. I mean, I see them as cheap as possible. About $150. It's so worth it, though, man. I know wherever we go, I can find an area for a pool like that size, small anyway. That's all they need. Right now, at this age, these are the easier to entertain them. As they get bigger, it's going to be harder to entertain them. We're going to start coming up with some stuff. They're going to want to go out and work. Exploring. As soon as you sell them something, they want more. They were running towards here immediately, man. As soon as I got that, they're like, they know, they know where to go. Implement a new routine in this, you know. To, man, just entertain the kids, man. You gotta get the kids out of the house. They can't be cooped up in there like a prisoner. So far, Beckham has not run away. And even outside the house, he saw he only ran on the side. I knew what he was gonna do. That's why I went to the side. I had the door open. I knew what he was gonna do. And he was gonna go look at all his buildings. You know, that's not, I guess that's a little but it's not a little open. is what he does when he runs to that house over there and takes off down the street and goes and opens people's doors. That's a little bit. It's a minor form of it, what he's doing there. Beckham grabbed like some kind of trash or straw and that, you know, his typical building of a flag. I think he's trying to mark up a flag up here. See, that's awesome. Good job, Beckham. Put that trash to use like your brother's using it as a, as a stimming tool. And you are as now as well. Look at you, at the top of there with your flagpole. Just be careful. I don't need you falling and hitting your face and falling off of this thing. Yeah. It's the Beckham slide. <laughs> He's literally got a flagpole made out of trash. They're very entertained from the trash. More entertained than the Legos itself. The trash. So thank you people that littered. Entertained my children. As they both turned trash into stim, stimming tools. I now mark this area, this land, this slide as Beckham's. Beckham's slide. And this is Brody's bench band. Brody's bench band. Here, if you want to bring your, I picked up your toys here, put your flagpole here. No, Beckham, Beckham. I will take your tablet away from you. He's doing the eloping crap again. I just went over this with him. Beckham. Get over here now! No tablet, no TV! Nothing for you tonight! It's like the only way I'm getting him to stop. He thinks this is so funny to do. Every time I say it's time to go and we get packed up, he does this. This is his routine now. I can't stand it. I gotta break this habit with him. Give me the tablet. No tablet now. Since you decided to run off, I'm trying to help you. I was gonna let you bring your flag. It's not funny. This isn't a game. This is your life, kid. <laughs> I know. You think it's funny. It's not. Give me this. This is now. Give me this. Now. Get back over there now. No tablet. Beckham. Beckham. No. Man, I hate how I got to raise my voice to get him to do that. It's just like crazy. Look at there. The clouds are getting dark. Your brother's over there by himself. Let's go. Give me your hand. My hand hurts. Now you're going to spit too, right? You were spitting on kids at school today, I heard. I didn't even go over your report yet, but your mom said you did. Get over there now. Now you're being so good. And then as soon as I tell you the fun time is done, this is when he starts to act up. As soon as I say it's time to go, he just misbehaves like crazy. So I'm going to have to learn to not say that. I'm just going to get everything packed and grab his hand and get out of here. But he knows. He saw me doing it. One more time down the slide. That's it. That's it. One more. Go. 
and then we're leaving Beckham no see you're trying to be sneaky again no no down the slide Beckham all right I had enough of this I'm gonna get this packed and go get over here now get over here and sit down now sit down or you get nothing no tablet I'm not kidding Beckham this isn't funny to me this is how you get hurt when you start yeah you almost just went over the edge all right enough is enough here we go Brody, no, now he's doing it. It's like every time I say it's time to go, you see the cloud, how dark it is? I, there, some kind of rain is coming. Beckham, no. No tablet. Again, I'm not laughing. Go ahead, run off. Disappear. Playing game. I'm going to try to grab them both by the hand and get them out of here. They're both not listening as usual when it's time to go. It's always when it's time to go, this is what happens. So I got to come up with a way to sneakily get out of here. Let's go over here now. Beckham, slide, now. I'm not kidding, Beckham. Yeah, yeah. This is it, you got a couple minutes and it's time to go. Here, put your bag in here, swing your bag. Look, we'll put the bag right here. Let's do delivery, watch. Push the baby, yeah, push the baby, watch. Push the baby. Push the baby, yeah, put your head right there. I'm gonna give it a nice swing here, here. Go ahead, stand right there. Go ahead, stand right there. Boom! <laughs> That'll teach you a lesson. <laughs> Knowing him will do it himself by accident. Push it, push the baby. Go ahead, push it like a swing. Go ahead, push. This is it though. After this, we gotta get going. Your eye looks very rough with the allergies and rubbing it. Oh yeah, Brody boy. Watch, daddy gonna push the baby. Now this video's getting longer than I wanted it to. Oh, look, we pushing the baby. If you run off and make me run all the way down that street over there, oh, I'm going to cry right now. Oh, he's just playing games with me. He's playing around too much. He thinks this is a hilarious game to do here with the running away. It's only when it's time when the fun's got to end. This is what he does. Let me be pushing this thing. What doing? <laughs> we got to get going, Broadster. I'm going to grab this one by the hand and get his butt out of here. Do real time a little bit, though. She thinks this is a joke. That was the problem over here. This right here. Oh, no. I'm not laughing. This isn't funny to me. This whole area here stinks. What are you looking at up in the sky? The sky is beautiful. Stop. And then you're spitting on top of it. No, this is all no behavior. Uh-uh, man. I don't like that spitting thing and the running away. I don't think many parents would. It's a little wise butt, man. This is the issue I have. When I say it's time to go, it's time to go. And you're both giving me crap. You're having a meltdown. Yeah, tell brother it's okay. And you're not, you're fighting me on this. I know you need a swing in the house like I've explained to mom a million times and unfortunately we can't have one there. She doesn't want one in there. Don't know why, but buddy, come on. It's time to go, please. All right, I can't film this and do this at the same time. With him holding my hand, you got my hand? No, I can't let go of you because then you're gonna run off. Well, I'm trying to attend to him. I know, I really am sorry. He's like gripping on him. He doesn't want me to go. He doesn't want me to leave this, leave this place with him. You, you're hurting, ah, you're hurting my finger. No, it's time to go. Let's go walk. I put you got your weighted weight on. There, there he goes again. Unbelievable. I think this is a freaking game. This is so insane to me to do this every day with them. No, I just went to Beckham. Again, like eight times now, trying to get you out of here. What do I got to get a wheelbarrow here and start doing this with you? The double shoulder should never got rid of that thing. Stop. You guys are making this too complicated to leave. And if this buckle just sa saves me, this weighs him down. Get, that's no, no. We gotta find a backpack that I can uh, weigh him down so he can't loop. And I'm gonna buckle it and I'm gonna lock it. That's another solution I can do. Put a lock right on it, he ain't running away. I'll make it real heavy for him. I'll, I'll slow him down, cause he gets quicker. Get you some weighted ankles. Brody, it's time to go, bud. I'm sorry, but it's gone. It's like seven o'clock now. It's time to go, bro. You still didn't finish your dinner. I'm sorry, but time to go. You need to understand that when it's time to go, it's time to go, you're hurting me. Big time, stop. I'm sorry, buddy, but it's time to go back. I know, but this is how this goes. It's getting dark out, it's time to call it. I really gotta get that backyard in order. This would make things a lot less stressful for him. With the coming and going. It's time to go, bud. Let's try to educate brother or not. Brother, brother, stop doing this. I can't let go of you because you're gonna run away. We need like a weighted, uh, a weighted, uh, backpack for you. Alright, are you ready to go now? There, but... 
Yeah, but you can't start kicking at me. Let's go. We've tried this now. We've been over here for 10 minutes now trying to do this. <laughs> First of all, we need to go back to the house to eat dinner for you. Stand up, stand. I need you to stand. I need you to stand. I need you to stand. And I can't let go of your brother's hand, it would be easier. You need to stand up, Brody. This is no. It's okay. Tell him, it's okay, brother. Can you sit? I need you to sit down. Sit down Indian style for a second while I get him over my shoulder so you don't run away. Ah. All right, get up. Hold my hand. Let's go. No, you're not. You, you've been doing this now, but you're fighting when I did this before. Get up. Hold my hand. Ah. It's time to go. So you grab daddy's phone, get daddy's phone, no, and then you're going to run in buildings next. See, like, I can't let go of either of you. This is the part. This is why it's tough for one adult to do this. This is why I'm telling you now, no, no one's going to do this unless I do it. So you need to hold on and chill. Stop. Stop. Stop now. I can see why mama never did this. It's impossible for her. Look, there you go. This will calm you down. Look at the doggy. His name is Bubby. Bubby. That's the tough one. They're both non -verbal. He's a mimicker, but he's also an eloper and he has diabetes and he runs away from me all the damn time. So on top of it. I don't know. So I have to give him an all day. My second son had it. He's going to be 29. My father had it at age four, too. But he, I mean, he's passed away, but he had it when he was like you know, 60s and stuff. But they had, they had to boil their insulin in a pot, apparently, he told me, or the needle. Four. My father was as well four. Oh my God, two? Oh my God. I didn't even realize that happened. I was just telling somebody. Oh. We used to have picnics under the kitchen table. <laughs> hey, get him! Yeah, I got his pet in my backpack right now. Yeah, look, he's so look at the hi. He's so cute. Look at him. Look at his face. Look at him. Look at him. That's the tough one. Let me hold on to you as the cars come. Big mouth. The little ones always have big mouth. Don't they look at her? Look at her. As soon as I went near her, she's like, she's hiding behind her mommy. <laughs> I know. Buddy, I've always wanted a dog like you. Bulldogs, I love bulldogs. Yeah. They're the best. Slobber all over. You good now? You good? You happy boys? <laughs> we got to go get dinner. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there you go. See, like I told you, there you go. You're loping. This isn't funny. This is now. This is now. Not funny at all. <sighs> Thank God there's another adult there. <sighs> that dog's going to eat you. See, I wasn't kidding. This is what he does. It's like the second he sees an opportunity, he takes off. He got all the way down this street one day in his underwear and his tablet. Yeah, one time. Well, if I see a brother, on that. Yeah, grab his ass. <laughs> Five Phillips Court right there. <laughs> Come on, boys. We got to go. Right. Again. Okay. Unbelievable. It's not funny to me. <sighs> all right. Let me grip these kids up. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. I'm TJ, by the way. This is Beckham. Tammy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tracy, nice to meet you both. This is Brody and Beckham. Let's go. Okay, now we're doing this again. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go, guys. You're going to run away. You're dragging me. Okay. Oh, the doggies. Okay. Okay, let me hear. I still got this on record. Hold on. My shoelace. Thank you. They were kicking the bush. I'm going to hold your hands until we get right in there because I know you're going to run. Take your peanut butter and jelly, buddy. Take it right inside. All right, let's go. We got to check brother and all. So we got to do a bunch of things. Let's go. Damn, bro. That was rough, man. Act like we jars. We're gonna cat peas and poops, you know. You see how you're double fisting milk? That's how I know you're thirsty and you're hungry, brother. That's why we had to go. You had to see some dogs, so your slowdown helped us see some puppies. Ooh, that was rough. I'll be like 20 minutes. I, I gave him like a light tap on his butt, like to let him know, like this is enough is enough. My arm, man, out of my socket. But he stopped immediately after that, and then he started again after we stopped with the dogs. But it's okay. It's normal. He wants to stay out. I get it. What are you doing? You want to eat? We got to check your blood sugar, your insulin. You got to do a whole thing here, man. Yeah, we made it. I figured it was going to be close to seven getting here. 
All right, we bought some milk. The brooch is happy. This one's happy. We got his left with PB and J. He grabbed out there. These? Yeah. No, from Miss Peg? No? Yeah. I don't know what you want then, bud. Spaghetti is your choice of milk. You're not getting candy. I know it's the marshmallows and all that, and I have it all in here, and I'm taking it put it in the garage, and he's not going to be able to see it anymore. Good level, Beck. Before I wash my hands, let me get this out of here. All right. Throw that out. Of course you found that stash. Here. That's it. No, that's it. Just the Skittles, okay? Go sit down. Go. Go sit. Of course, I give in anyway. I'm trying to bring it out there with me. I was bringing the trash out. Caught me off guard again. You need to eat dinner. Because I know what's going to happen. You're going to wake up at 11 o'clock and you're going to come down and you're going to want to do this all over again. You good now? I still need you to eat this, okay? Water, milk, milk, water. You still had a good day though? <laughs> I don't think so. You better stop spitting. No spitting at school and no taking our clothes off. You're laughing about it, but I'm not finding it funny. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna take this away from you. No tablet. Every time you spit, if you're gonna spit at school, then you're not gonna get this tablet anymore. Stop spitting then. Sit down. I need you to understand that no spitting at school, no taking our clothes off, no misbehaving, no running away. When you start doing that, you lose things like this. Yeah, you'll start to understand real fast. I promise you. Got my Brody boy. Brody boy, a good day. He got the zoo trip tomorrow. We got to bring a brown bag with you to the zoo tomorrow. All right, my man. Yeah, you get to go to the zoo tomorrow and see all the monkeys. The monkeys and the lions and the giraffes. Tigers. You ready to go to the zoo? Brother gets to go to the zoo tomorrow. Your eye looks like crap. You better be going to school tomorrow. I'm going to clean that thing out. The zoo, brother, the zoo. There's your yellow shirt they recommend you wear. Look, it's hangry, a hangry bear. Oh, you want to see a bear at the zoo? Raw. Oh. Uh, the string cheese boys, we got to Okay, that's another litter in there. He said, open door. He got it. I told you, open door. Well, he take the one that already opened her. Good job. Eat the string cheese. I'm assuming you're not going to eat that. I'm packing it for lunch for the zoo tomorrow. The brown bag. We don't have no brown bags, man. One more bag. That's good. It'll work. More cheese, huh? You're gonna get nice and constipated here. You can't keep up with you and the carbs and the insulin, man. I'm thankful he's eating that, so he won't be getting up later. Yeah, don't touch the syringe. Don't touch the syringe. You're literally touching it and trying to jam it after I just said it. Thankfully, I called you in time. Do not touch the syringe. Not yet. You're not ready for that. He's out here doing some gross, like, burp gag things where he's like, pick up in and he's like, almost ready to throw up. I'm like, oh. Do not touch this. You know, he's ready, he's ready to take it and jam the needle into the counter. It's because he doesn't know how to do it. I get it. Let's go up in a higher bubble over here where there's not there's holes. Ha! Ah, my finger, don't squeeze my finger, bro, bro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All done. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm trying to find an area where you don't have all these holes in your arm. Okay? Sorry. Right. I know, I get it. And you both poop. They smell so good right now. Looks like that noses. How's that eye doing? How's that eye? Let me say. Uh, yeah, how's it doing? I'm gonna squirt some saline. I wish I had it right now. Like, I have some upstairs I can squirt in his eye. I'm gonna try to. Right now would be my opportunity to do so. He's gotta be distracted. So, okay, now we gotta go get go potty and stuff. We gotta get that poop out of there. Yeah, I know. Thank you for pooping yourself. Uh -huh. No, potty opportunity was missed. He's ever taken off. This is why we got poop on ourselves yesterday. Just lay down like we used to do. That's the only way I can handle that anymore. Don't move. Don't take them off. Please. I don't want poop all over me again. Back them and over the walls. These diapers are really causing myself problems. We need pulps. Sorry, but you, you, you know, you make this take really long. He's trying to dress himself with the tablet in his hand. It's just like, no, man. Like, put it down for a minute. Okay, it'll be fine. What time is it? Time? What time is it? Nighttime, bedtime, yeah. Go ahead, we'll be up shortly with brother, okay? Good job. You're next, let's go. We're not going to the pantry for Skittles. We're gonna do this. Ow, now you're, you're lightly doing that, but you kicked me really hard by accident. In the balls again. Two nights in a row, I believe. How you doing that, Bigfoot? Oi, 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 oi. You get to go to the zoo tomorrow and see all the monkeys. Monkeys, lions and bears and giraffes and tigers. Blah, 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 blah. How you doing, bud? Piggies? Piggies? 
Oh, and you got a really stinky what too. They both pooped themselves. Oh boy. <laughs> I was like, oh, there's a pull up over there. I'm from your school. Have them send us some of those back. We could use them. Oh, look at those teeth. Oh. Hey, you want the hat? Is that what you're laughing? He was like laughing because of the hat. There you go. You want the hat? You're stimming on the hat. Hey, you little gangster boy. What's up, my man? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love messing with you. So funny. Especially after we get the poop out of there. That was easier. That was only a little bit. So that means he's got one coming. Oh, boy. And I need to go baby in there later and change it again. Uh, yes, kick me in the crotch, crotch, crotch. In the tummy. All right, let me finish this and get your butt upstairs. May I have my hat, sir? Can I have my hat? Can I have my hat back? Can I have this back? Here, you put it on my head. Put it on my head, monkey. Put my hat on my head. No, you put my hat on my head, monkey man. Hey, hey, can I have it back here? Hey, you put my hat on my. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, you go. Hugoo! Can we do our hugs after this too? Oh, oh, yeah, you little third, third. Oh, he's kidding me. I didn't realize how strong he is. It hurt my fingers so bad. I had one pant leg and he's just kicking, kicking. He's going to me goof off. Well, I was trying to teach him. There's a time to goof off and it's time to be serious. It's time to be serious now. Let's put our pants on. Okay? I know. You want to do all these tapping and hitting your head. This is important. Okay? Well, he's a... We finally got the roadster to come now. Yeah, I know. It's that his fault. I got y'all hyper and goofing off. Hold on, let me sign. This is my finger slowing me down. I told him, I said, you're going to keep it up and smack your butt. I said, when I see blood coming to my finger and bruising and hurt, I said, it's when I go smack on the tushy. We didn't get to that point right now, but we did earlier when we walked. Yeah. So that's it. I'm sorry. It was so light. I was just like, to let him know. It's like, that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh. Can't be doing that, man. It's the only time I said when Irvin didn't put me in there myself in danger the kids were putting themselves in danger and they hurt me that's it that's why I, I smack the butt i don't care but i tell them why i said this is enough because you're putting our lives in danger now you gotta stop cars winging by when he's doing that meltdown and beckham's trying to run from my other hand i'm like that's it said beckham's still on the ground it's a broody little snack and he said i know i know dad i just want to live at the park because i love the park and then you hurt me while we're doing it. You take the, every time I put the pant leg on the right one, he'd laugh and kick, 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 stiff. You thought it was funny. You would take it off. It'd be a little wise, but I love your personality, the dolphin. Though. He's being, he's being funny. That guy teases his brother and gives him a little late tap and runs away. So he's doing me right now. That's what goofing off. Time to be goofy and time to be serious. When Dad says we gotta have a word, teach each other. Say enough is enough. Or like, time to be serious, or this is not. Old. Monkey, monkey gets to go to the zoo tomorrow. Do you think they're going to mistake you for a monkey and they're going to put you in the cage with the other monkeys? Huh? Yeah, you're going to be the monkeys. They're going to go, oh, then he fits right in with the monkeys. See, he's already practicing. Monkeys. Me. <laughs> Where the lions are eating. Like the lions. You gave me a workout to that kid with that meltdown. I threw him on my shoulder three times and couldn't keep him. He wouldn't stop. He was slithering down me. Like, oh, the monkeys. Oh, the lions. Oh, I'm jealous. I want to go to the zoo. Oh. You haven't been there since you were a baby. Well, I think you went to school the other year. You went a couple years ago, too, last year. Go! A goo! All right, can we call it a night? Have you noses? Can we call it a night? And now you're going to be my horsey, and you'll take me upstairs. Let's go, horsey. Come on, we need a saddle. Hoo yeah. Hurrah! Pop Wee. that collar, pop that collar. Believe me, buddy, if I could let you live on my shoulders, I would. Wee. Muscles! Let's go! Bedtime! Wee. Take your blankie. Here, let's go. Here's your water. Get your cup, your blanket. Here, I'll carry you up. Here. Let's go. You want me to carry you? I'll carry you over my shoulder. Oh, you gotta take that water cup there, brother. Here, let's get the water cup. He just wants to be carried. I get it. Let's go. Ah, squeeze my favorite thing really hard. Ah, you gotta let go here. Ah. 
Oh, thank you. Oy. Okay, this is where we drop you off. Over here, take cup, cup, water. Oh, brother didn't shut the door. It says the light. Ah, oh, don't have the light on. All right. All right, we got the light on here. What are you watching? Soapy bubbles. Oh, good selection, Beckham. Soapy bubbles for brother. Here you go. Here's your entertainment for the night. I love you. Sweet dreams. Good day today. I like the park. Short day today because of school. Beckham, what do we say? Beckham. I love you. What do we say? What do we say for bed? How's your eye? Do I got to go squirt some liquids in there? Mm -hmm. Come in here while you're sleeping and go. <laughs> what did we say before bed? I love you too. I love you more. Sweet dreams. School tomorrow, okay? I'll see you in the morning. Well, I'll probably see you shortly. It's only 8 o'clock. See you in a little bit, okay? Try to go to sleep, though. Please. Oh, shut my finger in there. Jesus. Not bad, 808. Uh-uh, and all that chaos. I forgot to put these on birdie. I gotta go do that real quick. I forgot these, sir. Let me do these real quick. Okay, what happened? Just bring it to me. Problem solved. All I had to do was close them all. You just got to reset it. That's all. You, I need these on you. There he is. He's got it in. We got them on. We clipped the other parts up. Good job, Brody. Pretty soon you'll have a better outfit, I promise. As soon as ID comes, it's the first thing I'm getting. Cabin boy, you happy? Can we get another I love you? I love you. And then what do we say? Sweet dreams. Okay, see you in the morning. Again, school night. Have a good night. I'll see you for potties probably. Cleaning up a bit here. This is something Brody made at school. Let's see, Brody. Oh, Brody, good job, buddy. This, yes, I like this. It's added to the art collection, man. Got the usual clean up. It's a mess over here. No way, but those will bleach away so quick. But my finger really hurt me, man. This is yes for ants. The usual. This is yes cleaned up. But this is uh because that zoo trip tomorrow and uh, ten days. I'm a little off with the morning routine. I would let mom do it. Well, first day was for that. So we have this already. Lunch is packed. In the blue bag, ready to go here for the zoo for Brimster. All right, now it's time to work on today's video. So, comparing this has got to come first right now. All right, again, just because the vlog ends doesn't mean I'm here. I'm still gonna go up there do the potty with them. Possibly, I'm hoping that there's no potty incidents. I can hear if he's banging. You saw the tablet it's immediately. It's like boom, 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 boom. But uh, anyway, uh, it was a good day at the park. I'm glad I got to do the videos I wanted to do with them. So, I think the longer videos of them, they just it calms them down. They like to watch themselves. So, I'm gonna try to work on that more implement that more into the videos as much as possible and uh, it would be easier on myself as well you know the yes and no thing they know they know at this point you see them getting the personalities being little wise butts i love it it's normal for kids to behave that way i love that but uh, anyway <clears throat> perform care was supposed to be here today they weren't able to make it unfortunately uh, due to personal situations of them family stuff but i know we'll, we'll get to there i put up a video or an audio plan. Uh, I believe I sent it to them. I can't remember, sent it to family so we can figure something out here. Cause I, I, my mind can't think. If they would've came here today, I'd still be caring for the kids at the same time, running back and forth, back and forth, doing all, I, every time they're here, it's just me caring for the kids, always. But anyway, I have a plan. I put it in place, started discussing what I can. I just still gotta get permission from certain family members for what, what ideas I have. I just need to really basically find a place to stay temporarily, like a room until they finish the school year or after that, whatever. Cause I, as over the next year, I'm gonna start to work again as that's what I need to do. Find uh, housing that is, uh, you know, lower income housing, as obviously that's something that in reality I'm going to need. And whether mom realizes that, she's gonna need to, you, you need to come to that realization you got two special needs kids, especially Brody's gonna need permanent care as of now. I'm trying to make sure in the long run that they can care for themselves as best as possible. But as you can see that, that's something that they're gonna go through the breakdowns and all that they're gonna be doing that. He's gonna be doing that when he's an adult, teenager possibly. Um, and I want to try and educate him as best he can. But right now, that's not for a kid to be that way. He was having a time of his life at the park. And he's strong. He hurt my arm, my finger. It's really killing me. It's like I gotta soak this thing. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna end this video log and I'm gonna add at the end of this video what I spoke of last night so I don't open it up for the kids. They don't need to have that open up. I mean, if they make it to the end of it, it's there because Beckham likes to go right into his, him and his brother. He'll forward through it anyway. So again, I'm gonna add that after this. This was last night. But again, stop judging, start loving, accept those arms, be yourself. Me out. So remember to treat the kids the way you want to be treated. And again, here's the video from last night. Um, hopefully it was clear because I was very tired. Just thankful the kids are back at school. Uh, as I was saying, today's the first day they were in school. Mom got them up, thankfully I slept in. That's the plan, you know, on Mondays, especially if someone's going all weekend, they should get the kids up. I, I slept all day today, I knew that, 12 hour rest. I gotta heal, this thing's healing slower because I'm not getting the rest I need. Spring break, man. Happy spring, spring break. Brody and Becca Brown, spring break.
all right, here's what I spoke of last night, a plan in place that I have a general idea of. As it is, that's simple. There's just a lot of safety issues I'm concerned with, which I can take care of easily. I know these boys very well. <laughs> They're my little mini All right, take care. All right, today is uh, April 16th, 2023. The boys are upstairs. Uh, I still got to go up there and do the potty thing with them. But anyway, I wanted to have this discussion here or, or a mindset when I'm in that mindset to think about all the things that need to be done to keep them safe. As I have a meeting with Perform Care tomorrow with their mother and for the well-being of them. So anyway, before I forget a lot of this stuff. Uh, number one concern is the locks on the door with Beckham. As uh, he's an eloper, Mr. Uh, flight Risk there, as my family would say, or cousins, and anybody who knows him, friends, <coughs> Beckham is Bexit. Like, he just tries to escape all the time. That's, that's what he does. But anyway, mom had a good idea, though, with the locks. I think the front door, all the doors that are exit doors, the garage door, the front door, the back door, should have coded locks. 100%. Whether they're fingerprinted or I think fingerprinted would be the best because he's already learning how to to get things open with codes. He he'll sit by you and pretend like he's not looking. He's doing his side eye and he sees you put the code in for the refrigerator now. He hasn't quite done it, but he does. But he is currently taking the key from the cabinet above to open the, the freezer. And as I'm a diabetic with anything that's in there, it can cause him harm when you're doing something that you need to do for yourself, like go to the bathroom, as he's been doing with myself. I think that's the number one issue. Mom and I can completely agree. That would definitely keep him safe as we need to turn this place m more and more into an escape uh, household. Number two, the bedroom that I'm staying in uh, currently. I do have bars to put on the window. We have two that I recently wanted to put over time, wanted to put in the hallway there as there's two there. Get a couple more of them. But then also on top of that, we need to put bars on uh, the other windows as well any windows available but not just that as the windows will fold down as I will explain that to them for people to clean them Beckham has recently learned how to do that out of nowhere I don't know I never videotaped that he's learned how to do that and there's a space that's about over a foot tall that he can squeeze through and as it, the warmer weather kicks in he will attempt to go do that so that's another thing I've come up with a way to do that simply with the bars there and then you can just get like a simple bar across in between that one foot space it's like a little over a foot it's like i think it's like 12 to 15 inches put it in between and they can't squeeze through they got big heads just like myself that is number two then uh the third one here with the bedroom upstairs as it's always been an issue for mom to actually uh, have them in their her bedroom as she has the master bedroom it's too much the cats the litter boxes and I would, I would recommend bars on all those windows if, God forbid, Becca gets in there. But that the bedroom that I'm in, I will put bars on that window and do that as well with the bar. Leave the bed that I'm in now. It's a small bed, whatever. And then she could bond with them in there and have that emotional support that they need. Uh, I think there's plenty more I could say. I'm trying to think here. I apologize. It's been a long day. And I am having a smoke and a drink and I'm eating nerds. But uh, I'm starting to think before this moves up. There's a possibility Becca might stay on tomorrow. He's up there coughing. I need the boys to be at school next week. For the living situation, though. My grandmother does have a room. My cousin stayed there for 10 years. It's sitting there. She's 80 years, about to be 80 years of age. In reality, she's going to need a retirement plan. And there is no retirement plan for her. So I'm trying to think of the win-win situation here where I could get that room together for her to possibly rent out to others, whether it's whoever she would choose who would stay there. There is plenty of people today that need a place to stay. She lives in a place where there's access to a light rail, the train station, everything. They can travel anywhere on the East Coast or wherever. So I want to do that as I can get that room together for the boys and I and stay there when they are with me or if they're not. And I can travel back and forth here. That's up to mom. I want them to finish up the school year here, obviously as it is tough for kids with uh, special needs to find a good school system as I look into it more, looking at places, and like, ah, they still have a good program. But my grandmother, her area also, as well, does. That's worst case. I still want them to attend here. And then we'll go from there. But uh, as I did the math, 
Birdie's SSI. I, I started all that back in probably summer last year, but they, I didn't continue with it because I, I just I can't keep up. But I did back in November. I think it's December till whenever. I don't know. It'll be a decent amount, I hope. Just a couple grand here and there to get get uh, myself situated with him for his well-being and his brothers. Like a weekend or, or uh, you know, half the time, as mom suggested. I have plenty of plans in place for them. Uh, there's other things I want to say. I got to think here. Can I have a moment to pause and think more? Hold on, let me pause this real quick. Um, also, Brody's SSI. The number one situation should be to get Brody and also Beckham. Unfortunately, Beckham is well prepared to not be in these special needs outfits, but his brother, unfortunately, as they share a bedroom, which I think they always should is it keeps him bonding. He has dug in his diaper in the middle of the night and it can become a disaster with the poop all over the him and all over his brother and all over the bedroom. So let's make sure those special needs or outfits are, are done first with SSI income through disability of that. Uh, pause again. Then when it comes to employment, I've been reaching out to uh, the promotions that I've worked with before through wrestling, flying drones, doing videography. Uh, they possibly have a job lined up for me. I would only have to travel to Los Angeles uh, every other month and then New York that every other month. So LA, New York, LA, New York, once a month. Then I can work from home. And I explain the situation. I cannot make too much, which is good for them because they don't have a lot of money to give. <clears throat> the man has a multi-millionaire company, but he needs to have a budget as he has 40 employees plus. So I said, right, here's what I need to do. And then on top of that, I would work at Target or Walmart from my grandmother's temporarily as I look into the low income housing section eight, there's a program called MEND, M-E-N-D, that they be able to help myself and their mother. Um, so we can get the rent down to under a grand a month, which is crucial. Because the reality is uh, the boys, I mean, we're thinking of it now, but in the long run, they're still gonna need care as they become, you know, their toddlers now, six and seven. As they become, you know, you best and boys, teenagers and all that stuff and hit puberty and they become adults. And I want to make sure that they're taken care of until I pass away. And their mother as well. We want to make sure they're fine because it's the terrifying part is when we're gone, who's going to care for them? And then we'll come up with a whole plan here to put savings away. And that's what I, that's what I really want. So these are plans I have in place here. But the main priority now is to focus on them now to keep them safe. As Beckham is an eloper, he's a diabetic. Brody... Brody ain't running away, but as of lately, <clears throat> he's been going to the park, uh, trying to run away to the park as I've been bringing it there down the road for me. And God forbid, I know this is personal stuff, but it's like, I hope he always, him and his brother will always go there. That'd be the first place we would go look if they did try to get out of the house. And they did successfully. And notes from the, the vis visual therapy that I've created for them. I think mom and I can come to an agreement where I apologize. I have spoken too clearly on there at times as the kids don't understand and I shouldn't say stuff about the personal life. I simply have learned from them is it's time now to just simply uh, record them vi visually on a swing for 20 minutes plus and not speak a word and that's all they want as it's working to keep them from self-harming themselves. That's what I really want and it is proven to work and the bond that autistic children don't always have love and stuff, they're hugging and loving all day. I've already proven this through, through uh, people from the professional field, they know it's working, it should be a thing. Uh, as professional athletes uh, study their tapes through what, 60 angles through NFL, and they learn uh, from experience through athletics, and I'm learning through trauma and other situations as their mother and I go through. Both her and I, need to come to an agreement and if it comes worse terms too i was thinking too i was like as they need to finish out the school year her and i can come on an agreement to sign where i do come here and stay here for whatever until they finish school year it's like june 20th um that is up to mom now as the ejectment is in place i have until may 11th i am willing to work 100 percent to keep the boys uh well-being in place i think her and I separated will be the best thing for her mental health, my mental health, and of course the boys. They don't need to hear us screaming at each other. I'm guilty of that as well. Her and I both. You know, it's a common concept of a relationship when it deteriorates and falls apart. 70% of, uh, as I was doing studies on this, 70% of uh, couples that have a special needs child, just one special needs child, and as they get older, it gets to be tougher. So I'm trying to think of the future here as well by putting a plan in place <clears throat> while helping the kids Myself, their mother, my grandmother, everything. We got to come up with some kind of plan. And I think 
the best option here first would be just to get everything secure here to make sure Beckham ain't running away. Cause that boy is getting more intelligent by the day. And I blame myself as he's watching himself. And sometimes I record things of him like with the key and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna record that. And Brody too, and they're developing personalities. It's, it's beautiful, man. <clears throat> so her and I have to learn to not <clears throat> make it personal at, at all and make it for the well-being of the kids. <clears throat> Just a common situation that human beings go through. Um, so let's make it, let's make this work, man, before I'm here tomorrow. And hopefully I'll, I'll send this to them because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have that mindset tomorrow as I'm still trying to <clears throat> cope with my finger injury. Because again, I mean, this is personal stuff. I was like, mom, you, you disappeared all weekend. It, it's hurtful, man. I know you had a wedding and that's why I didn't even bother. I could have legally just disappeared and left you with the kids, but I would never do that to them. And I wouldn't do it to you because I know the family is small. You know, it's, it, I'm appreciative of my family getting involved because when times get tough, they get involved just like your family. And on a personal note too, I know mom did, mom, if you ever hear this too, you did what you needed to do when I was in the hospital across the street, when Beckham, you had to go to work and you left him with somebody that that can't take care of him via his diabetes and you panic, you came home, I read the device, you didn't speak of any of this stuff. I was ready to cross street to hospital. The solution is not to hit 911 and put him through any trauma or uh, to damage that, just to just to let me know and I would have problem solved that. Uh, I'm pretty sure Medicaid and stuff has systems in place when someone is uh, in a hospital, they could have came here and administer insulin him. Um, as you and I both do not know that because we're not diabetics, we don't know what he's feeling. As it, also, he's nonverbal, um, and I respect that he did what he had to do to go to work. But I think the better solution would have been to say, "Hey, let's—I can't go to work for those three or four hours," because he was alone for five hours. Just like the court thing, when you disagreed for myself to bring the child to court, I, I know my mindset is right. And again, it's not your fault. It's just—it's the mental health that's taking a toll on you. It, the whole situation with us separating, and just life in general. Everybody's going through a lot today trying to find housing as we go into a possible another <laughs> economic collapse. I mean, I'm sorry, we have to talk, but I want the well-being for the kids. Let's figure this out. I am far from perfect, but I will always be there for those kids. And I'd be more than happy to just get by to care for them. I don't need to be rich. I don't need all that stuff. I need them to be happy. And let's figure this out. And again, I just made it personal. I apologize, but it is personal. It's tough, man. The kids' ball being got to be in place, man. As, uh, we're blessed with these two beautiful boys. And, you know, like my family would say, or my cousin would say, and others that have autistic children, they say, man, the chances are two of them. And everything going on, it's just it's the world, man. It's just not her fault or my fault or the boy's fault. It's just the way life throws life throws these these uh obstacles at you you gotta figure it out for the well-being of them and then bond man i really hope in the long run that mom and i can have other in the long run get past all this and she can have somebody else that would support our boys and i can find someone else to help support the boys because it takes a damn village <laughs> it really does as the reality is again it's just like the whole thing with them they only were at, uh, summer school for three and a half weeks and they're almost off again it's like they're gonna be off for like two almost two months Someone's got to step up, and I know I don't get paid to do this, but there are programs and places they've discussed with me, and I am guilty of not getting on all, all order. It's been tough. I apologize for that, but let's make sure, let's get it on now. Let's get this, this the perform care should be the mediators here, man. Let's get it together for them. They're awesome kids. These up there tapping. <laughs> Just a, a lot of things about their safety. You can have your routine, I can have my routine, and they will accept that. I know they will. And I will never interfere. And if we have to, if I have to stay here until the school year is done, that's so be it for you. If it's their well being, let's figure it out. Sign something up. And that's it, man. Have to. You have to for that, man. They're just beginning their lives. We're already halfway through. <laughs> Unless they come up with a whole uh, anti aging pill or something. I don't know. Again, I'm getting all deep thought. But anyway, let's just look out for them. And let's make sure, first of all, let's make sure this place is secure and safe. These coated locks and all that. Because Beckham, unfortunately, is a diabetic. And he's an escape artist. And he's getting smarter by the day. And, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If I was going to say that I'm fine with just leaving here and leaving them with mom. Because she's not prepared. Because honestly, her and I had a discussion, a disagreement. I said, hey, you haven't had a full day with them. 
You're on your own since last summer. And she didn't say a word back. I said, yes, you haven't. They're on all their levels and they're getting bigger and stronger by the day. My finger is now black and blue besides the wound that I had from the emergency uh, situation I had at the hospital when I was repairing the holes in this wall because the CPS came here with concerns. I was like, oh my God, I got to go fix that right away. And I ended up getting a little less cut on my finger. Next thing I you know, I'm getting emergency surgery on my finger. Thank God I went over there and handled that. But anyway, please help me help you. I don't know. I'm tired. But again, I hope this is will help perform care. This whole other thing I just said for the last five minutes is me ringing along because I'm tired and I am having myself a drink because I'm allowed to as an adult. I'm allowed to after just having a whole weekend with my kids. I'm allowed to go out and have a drink in the garage and eat nerds and have a cigar or a cigarette. Aren't I allowed to? I'm not leaving. I'm still making sure the boy ain't running away from the house. So as I look at places at my grandma's, I'm looking for, I know legally one bedroom apartments and other stuff, I'm going to need two, but the safety is like, I need an area where I could sleep in the similar area where he can't run out the front door because that boy is smart. Next thing you know, he's going to put one of those little things on my finger and take the fingerprint and get out the door because he literally was on some next level stuff today. He is getting more intelligent by the day and I am very proud, but I'm worried. <laughs> so it's awesome. Beckham the Builder. Uh, and Birdie the Angel. So, anyway, talk to you later. Take care. Let's add this to the vlog or whatever we gotta do here. I don't know.